So, I want to kick off this new Christian channel thing by just taking you guys through a, um, a way or a method that I read the Bible and uh, as far as understanding and color coding or you might want to stop it at highlighting so I'll just take you guys through how I highlight the Bible. Um, it's taken me a while to get to this stage and I don't think I'm, I'm done yet. This is just the foundation because, uh, because it's, it's just what I have right now. But I believe that as I grow and I uh, come to find out different things, then things will expand in time. So um, right now I'm going to take you through my pens, my color key, and then we'll get into actual verses in the Bible that I've highlighted. And I'll explain to you what everything means. So these are my pens. Okay. These are my pens. Um, these pins coincide with everything that's in my key, my underlying key. I don't highlight anymore. I underline. I might say highlight a few times, but I underline. Okay. So um, I'm going to tell you what these represent and I'm going to tell you uh, where they are so that when we get into the actual Bible portion of it, you can understand why I did something a certain way. So um, pink is for um, anything that is prophetic. Uh, whether it be a book or a prophecy that's in the book that I'm reading. Blue stands for prayer. So anything that's underlined in blue is a prayer. Purple is for uh, major characters in the Bible. So if you're reading the book about Daniel, then every time Daniel is mentioned, um, it'll be purple because it'll let me know that Deidre, Daniel I'm sorry, was a major character in the book. The book itself should kind of be self-explanatory, but hey, sometimes people want to know. Green is for, uh, what is green for? Crap, what is green for? I'm sorry. That just threw me off. Okay, we're going to switch colors. Red is something that is, that's what it's for, I'm sorry. So red is for something that is important or something bad that people did. That, that is what red is for. Green is for something that uh, is an answer to a question that God um, has given um, it could be a result of what something or you know what God said or what God did so that's what that is for green is for an answer basically brown is for places orange is for uh, extra people you know you have your first second and third major you know characters and then um, I, I said that number three would be basically the extra people. So anybody that's extra, because I don't have enough pins for that, like I said, as we expand and grow, then there will be other colors. But right now, orange is going to represent extra people. Blue stands for questions or general statements. So um, if they, if I think that in the book of Romans, we see that there are questions concerning sin and who being Jews or Gentiles and how God thinks or looks at them. And so... Um, for any questions or just general statements, it's blue. Green is for mm, secondary characters. So I say major, minor, and extra people. Okay, now as we get on to our underline key is what I, is what I like to call it. I call it the Bible color key and the underline key. And the reason why I do this, again, is to... Um, show myself where I've been in the Bible. Um, if I need encouragement, I'll just go back and I, if I see something that's blue, then I know what it is because I've colored it and I've, I've got a key for it and I understand what it is through repetition. So blue, light blue, is for prayers. Pink, as I've said over and over again, is for any prophetic book, any prophetic words, any prophet. I'm green is for an answer um, to a question or what God did or what he said. Green is for something that is important, um, for bad things people did or bad things people said. Dark blue is for questions or statements. Purple is for major people. Light green is for minor people. And orange is for extra people. Brown is for places. When we get down to coloring the individual books of the Bible, all the colors are repetitive, but they all mean something different. Green is for wisdom books. Red is for the history books. 
light green is for the laws purple is for the gospels uh, pink is for the prophetic books and i have here for the general letters i have them split in two different colors because there are different types of letters that the bible talks about i swear i feel like i'm confusing somebody or i'm gonna confuse somebody but <laughs> it all makes sense to me so i guess i don't know <laughs> i guess it's okay uh here we see the major and minor prophetical books here and so uh i have them split between two different colors light blue and light green now the first half is pink because like i told you pink is anything that's prophetic and the other colors di help me differentiate what type of book it is whether it's a major prophetic book or uh, or a minor prophetic book so that that is the only reason why they are like that they're half and half like that you have pink and blue for the major prophets and I have in parentheses that there are five major prophetic books or major prophets in the Bible. And then for the minor prophets, which I don't really get this, but hey, do what you do, Jesus. Um, you have pink and lime green for the minor prophet, minor prophets, and there are 12 of them. So, yeah. And then the people who are the, the minor prophets, you, you would say, like, you would think that, you know, really... I don't understand. And then you guys only have one chapter in the book. That it, it's just it's crazy. So uh, here, right under that, we have the underlining um, Bible references. So you know, like when you read a passage, and then right under the passage, there's an extra uh, scripture that you're supposed to go read, or they recommend you read, or something that they think will help you. What I do is I'll go read that sometimes and if it applies to the scripture that I just read, then I have a system for that. So red is for something that doesn't apply, uh, green is for something that does apply, and then blue is for a continuation of the same scripture. So Mark, Luke, and John, some of those scriptures are, are, are the same with a, with a few variations of a few words here and there, you know. Luke might have saw more than Matthew did or John might have saw more than Mark did or something like that. So um, sometimes I'll split them in half to say, you know, yes, this applies, but it is a continuation of what was said in Luke or what was said in Mark. So one side will be blue and one side will be green or something like that. That's my color key. That is how I color my Bible. But we're not done yet. I have to show you how I do it. Let's carry on, shall we?